Hey everyone, Mike here again from adventuresincre.com. Uh, this is a video to explain index match uh, and basically the three ways you can use it within your Excel models. This is a this is an add-on video to a recent post I did um, about how to create a dynamic um, revenue row for your pro forma. Uh, and in the prior video I showed and explained index match but I wasn't completely thorough in the explanation um, and so I wanted to just give everyone a full complete understanding of how it works. Uh, so if you haven't done so yet um, head over to adventuresincere.com you can download uh, this Excel sheet and you can come back and follow along. So index match works uh, much in the way that VLOOKUP does in that you will uh, give it a value um, and then the the formula will search within a table for that value and then it will return uh, a corresponding value. Um, there are many reasons that index match is is much preferred over VLOOKUP. Uh, one, one of the reasons is that it, it makes your model move a lot faster. If you have a huge data set and you're using VLOOKUP, it makes the model a lot clunkier. So index match is, is a way to streamline your model, make it uh, work a little bit smoother and there, there are plenty of other reasons that uh, index match is preferred over VLOOKUP. You can look up many articles online that, that discuss it more in depth. Um, so basically there are three ways you can use index match. One is that you can have the formula return an exact match. Uh, you can have the formula return exact match or greatest value less than the lookup value. And finally, you can have it return exact match or the lowest value greater than the lookup value. So let's play around with the three functions and, and see how they work. So the first we're going to look at is the exact match. Um, and here you can see the formula down here. The one major difference between all three of these formulas is that within the match function, you're going to put a zero, and the zero indicates that, that you want an exact return on your input. Um, for the exact match or greatest value less than the lookup value, you're going to put a one, which you can see right here, or you can leave it blank, which is what I did for this model back here. You can see that in the match portion, I have the lookup array, and after if I want to, I can put a one in. But I don't need to because that's pretty much the default, or that is the default for uh, the formula. So let's see what happens as, as we um, change the input value. So here we have 1. As you can see, 1 is returning adventures. If I change to 2, it's going to return in. 3, it's going to return CRE. And if I do 4 or any other value different, it's going to give me an error sign saying it's not applicable. Um, this is how it works for the exact match. It will only return something if it's exact. Nothing more, nothing less. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, exact match or greatest value less than the lookup. So here in the table we have numbers 1, 3, and 5. As you can see, 4 is already in here, and it's giving us in, the word in. So basically that's returning a value, the greatest value less than the lookup. So it's finding three and it's giving us what's, um, respond, what's right next to the number three and that's in. Now if we do six or anything above five, it'll give us CRE always no matter what. Now if we go lower then, it'll give us an error because there's nothing there's no greatest value less than the lookup value, less than zero. And finally, we have exact match or lowest value greater than the lookup value. So what that's going to do is that's going to give you the lowest value greater than whatever number you have put in. So if we have two, obviously you can see it's giving us three, which is the lowest number in the table greater than two. If we put in four, it's going to give us adventures. If we put in zero, we'll get CRE. If we put in negative a thousand, CRE still. Now, if we go above five, we'll get the error because there's no value at all um, 
greater than six in the table. All right, and I believe that should do it. Um, as always, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Um, and please stay tuned to the website. Thanks a lot.